Good morning, Poppet. So it's the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, meaning everyone's happy because it's a four day weekend to celebrate our Queen Elizabeth's 70 years of service. It's Thursday today and firstly, I'm going to the salon to get the hair done. Then I'm coming back home to get changed and then going to sketch to meet my friend for tea. Then tomorrow, I've been wanting to check out this place called Farmer J. So we'll go there for a quick bite before meeting the cousins for a family day out. I'm taking them to play golf because they've never been before, but I don't want to stay out too late because I'm going to Paris on Saturday. <laughs> The things we were going to travel today and come back Monday, but I still wanted to be in London and celebrate part of the Jubilee. It's just absolutely lovely here with good vibes everywhere at the moment. So excited!
first night in Paris and honestly I just love it here. So we arrived just before midday, got in a cab and dropped off our bags at the hotel, then got in another cab to a restaurant called Le Train Bleu. As you saw in the clips, the interior is gorgeous and the service is very professional. However, as much as I wanted to be head over heels in love with the restaurant, it just was an a 10 out of 10 for me in all aspects. It's actually pretty casual that even though a lot of people do go there dressed up. But if you didn't know, Le Train Bleu is actually inside of a train station. There were also building works going on by the entrance. And some of the restaurant is actually behind a facade of plastic sheeting, which isn't the best start. But once you take your seat, all you focus on is the breathtaking decoration. Both the dishes that I ordered didn't really blow me away. So the lamb that was marked as a specialty was actually brought to your table and cut in front of you. And although it was prepared beautifully, it was quite cold as they already have it out for you on the carving trolley. Wasn't the biggest fan of the fruit flambe either as it was rather bitter and soggy. But then I guess it's due to how it's made maybe. But the bread, the gratin and all the other desserts were actually quite delicious especially the one with the rhubarb. All in all, I would go there again to try their other dishes, definitely again for dessert, and definitely again for the interior. After lunch, it started raining, so we came back to the hotel and I had a nap because I was just so tired from getting up at 4.30 a.m. this morning. Then we got ready again and went for a walk to find somewhere to eat. We didn't book anywhere for dinner though, just because we wanted to go for a stroll and just go wherever to call our fancy. Again, the restaurant had really nice decor, but just very different from where we went for lunch. The pasta was okay, but the profiteroles were great. I actually could have had two portions. <laughs> and the service was great too. But now it's time for bed, so I bid you good night and I will see you tomorrow. So I didn't talk to the camera at all, meaning I'm doing a voiceover for the first time today. Firstly, we took the fast train to Versailles, which took around 45 minutes, but unfortunately, we couldn't get any tickets to see inside the palace. Oh my gosh, I love this. Instead, we took a tour of the gardens in a golf cart, which took a few hours, but it was 100% worth it because the gardens of Versailles were absolutely astonishing. We then went back to the hotel to change into something warmer for the evening.
out on a River Seine sunset cruise. Les toilettes sont situées dans les ponts inférieurs et seront fermées 10 minutes avant. The Alexander the Third Bridge in front of us. Created in 1900 to celebrate the friendship between France and Russia. El comentario continua después del puente Alejandro III delante de nosotros, inaugurado en 1900, para simbolizar la amistad entre Francia y Rusia. Before the end of the year, you can also steal a piece. This was probably my favourite part of the trip as it was incredibly relaxing to see Paris at night on a boat. From the reflections in the water to the lighting on the architecture, it was just beautiful to view Paris in a different light.
It says Maria there. around 20 minutes on the scooter to get to Sacre-Cœur from Trocadero and I'm wearing these. Whoop! Look at that gorgeous view. I do miss Paris already. Nonetheless, we had a lovely last day. So this morning we got up early and had breakfast by the Louvre outside on their terrace because last time Mel and I came, we ate indoors as the weather wasn't that great when we came last. Actually come to think of it, Paris was the last place I actually traveled to before COVID and is also now the first place I'm going to after COVID. So the food at Le Café Mali was rather average the scrambled eggs were like watery porridge but the hot chocolate and the bread were nice <laughs> again you are paying for the location and the views not so much the food <laughs> afterwards we scooted around paris to see some of their famous sites such as the alexander the third bridge the trocadero gardens and the sacre coeur personally i think that the best way to get around paris is actually buy a scooter. That way you can easily avoid traffic as well as take in their gorgeous views. And even more of a bonus, it's affordable. I mean, there were two of us on the scooter, so I was the passenger in front while my friend was behind me riding it, which makes it even more fun. Plus our hotel was very central, so it didn't take us long to get anywhere. And on that note, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.